Hi and welcome to my guide. Today we're going to do the quest Fairy Tale Part 2, Cure a Queen, until we have unlocked the Fairy Rings. The quest requirement is Fairy Tales Part 1. There are no stats requirements, and the only item that you will need is a Dramon Staff. But what I suggest you to also bring along is a stamina potion of uh, 3 doses and then some weight reducing armor because we don't need to fight anything to unlock these fairy rings. Where to start this quest is at the same quest start of Fairy Tales Part 1. Talk to Martin, the NPC with the farming cape near the Adreno market. Talk to him about the quest. Skip through the dialogue and he will now say that he will check his crops. I will need to wait approximately 5 minutes for him to check his crops and if there are any changes. So now you need to keep yourself busy for the next 5 minutes, maybe chop some willows or pickpocket a master farmer. I will see you back in 5 minutes.
Alright, so after waiting for approximately 5 minutes, talk to Martin again. Skip through the dialogue a little bit and select the first option, I suppose, to agree to solve his problem. Next, we'll need to go back to Xanaris to talk to the fairy godfather. So head southeast and go to Xanaris. Now we don't really need to go to uh, the fairy godfather, we need to go to the clinic of a fairy nuff. Alright, at the shed, pick up your staff, go to Xanaris, and go to the Xanaris Bank, located uh, on the western wall of Xanaris. The little room north of the bank, that is the clinic of a fairy nuff. Alright, upon entering this uh, clinic, you should see a cutscene. Not really a cutscene, just uh, the camera moving. And after the camera stops moving, next to the Easter wall you should find a healing certificate. Take it, and you'll find Nuff's certificate. Right click on it and study and you'll find these weird symbols. Next go south and go south of the bank. There you should find uh, the fairy chef next to the cooking sign of the cooking range. You should find fairy chef, talk to her and she will mention the cosmic rune altar. Go there, so go east, go to the water sign, there go south, pass the fairy rings, and just go to the uh, cosmic altar. If you have 66 agility, use the first shortcut. If you have 48, use the second one. If you have below 48, you will have to go all the way around. When you're arrived at the Cosmic Altar Mystery Ruins, go to the southern wall, south of these ruins, and turn your camera south. And you should find, between the two regular trees, a rune temple sign at the southern wall. Read it. When you're reading it, you will find some more strange symbols. Now we could actually uh, decode Neuf's certificate by using this uh, sign, but we don't really have to, we just need to go back to the fairy godfather. So go back north and go to the fairy godfather uh, next to Sheldar, the uh, level 70 combat slayer master. When you're back here at the fairy godfather, talk to him and select the first option, where is the fairy queen? Select the first option, do you have any idea who could have done this? Mm, 
then select the first option, yes, ok. And he will now allow you to use the fairy rings. But first we will need to know how they work, so go to the fairy ring by first running north, then go a little bit west, and west of this uh, wheat field and the entrance to Pearl Pearl, there you should find a transportation sign and the ferry ring. Near the ferry ring you should find a ferry called Fixit. Talk to it. After talking to the ferry, equip your Dremon staff and use the ferry ring. And now you're able to use the fairy rings freely. Now you just need to enter any kind of code by rotating uh, clockwise or anti-clockwise. Then click on teleport to this location. And you've arrived to your location. To know the fairy ring codes and where they are located, I'll put a link in the description of a RuneScape wikia which will have every single fairy ring codes and their location. This was my guide how to unlock the fairy rings. Hopefully it helped. Subscribe, rate and comment. Okay, thanks, bye.